You are just and your judge should destroy. Let your servant be God in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in Him, rooted in Him, and built upon Him, and established in the faith as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. See to it that no one captive you with an anti-seductive philosophy according to the tradition of man, according to the elemental powers of the world, and not according to Christ. For in Him dwells the whole fullness of the deity bodily, and you share in this fullness in Him, who is the head of every principality and power. In Him you are also circumcised with a circumcision not administered by hand, by stripping off the carnal body with the circumcision of Christ. You were buried with Him in baptism, in which you were also raised with Him through faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross, Despoiling the principalities and the powers, he made a public spectacle of them, leading them away in triumph by it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. Let your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world that you may go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called Zeroth, Judas, son of James, Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them, and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of these disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Time is gold. That is what we are always reminded of. Time is money. Kaya do not waste your time. Manage your time well. Yan ang sinasabi. Use it efficiently. Use it profitably. Kaya start working early. Maaga pa lang magtrabaho na. Double time. Huwag patay-patay. Isagad mo hanggang gabi. Take home some of your work. Will you earn money that way? Of course. But eventually, you will lose it. Kasi pambili mo na rin yan ng gamot. Dahil by then, may sakit ka na rin. And when you do this, you will lose one of the most important things in your life. Namely, your precious moments with God. Today we see how Jesus spends his time. In this brief reflection, we entitle A Day in the Life of Jesus. First, Jesus starts his day in prayer. And by morning, Jesus is with his twelve apostles. After that, he begins his healing ministry. He begins his teaching, preaching the word. You notice the order. First, it's solitude, prayer. Second, community with his twelve apostles. And third, ministry. This order is very, very important. Solitude, community, ministry. Kasi nga naman, yung marami sa atin, we do it the reverse way. Yung iba, they start with ministry, with work right away. Madilim pa lang, nagtratrabaho na. And when they fail, and get frustrated, they ask the help of others. And if, the, if other people fail to provide the help, that is the time when they begin calling the name of God. Panginoon, paano kaya ito? You see, the order of Jesus is solitude, community, ministry. That is why today, Jesus reminds us, start your day with prayer. Begin your day with prayer. From there, you turn to the community, your fellow workers, establish relationship with them. 
establish rapport with them, makipag-ugnayan sa kanila. It would not be nice, hindi naman maganda na yung katabi mo sa trabaho na hindi kayo nag-uusap. That would not be good for you or for the other or for the for the organization. And yet, kahit kahit establish a good relationship with your co-workers, you will be reminded today, even among the twelve, merong Judas, there is a Judas who can betray. But that should not stop you from to the next level of your life, namely your work and ministry. It is only when you are able to establish good relationship with your co-workers that you will begin to enjoy your work. Let us all stand and offer our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. Like Jesus, may we pray for guidance from our Heavenly Father, especially when we make important decisions for ourselves and for our dependents. We pray, Lord, hear our prayers. May the Lord bless the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may offer an authentic witness to the Gospel, both in their preaching and holiness of life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayers. May young men and women open their hearts to the gracious invitation of God, who calls them to embrace the life of service as priests and consecrated men and women. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayers. May the lay faithful heed the invitation of Christ to work for His kingdom and bring the living of the gospel to the world of politics, economy, education, and public service. We pray, Lord, hear our prayers. May today's shepherds experience the joy of seeing the flock of Christ grow in an ever greater love for the Lord and for each other. We pray, Lord, hear our prayers. You bow your heads and remember your other intentions. We continue to pray for the healing and recovery of all COVID patients. Remember the names of the COVID patients that you wish to include in this prayer. And we include as well the petition of Maida, St St Maida Fatima and for the soul of Carmi and Rosario Estira. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers of your children. Grant their petitions today through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for a good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through the offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty 
and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. So give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them that the Jew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death and Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray as the Lord Jesus taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may all be free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Act of spiritual communion. My good Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I am gracious if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass ascended. Thanks be to God.